Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove the front bumper on a 2017 Honda Pilot. We're going to start out by removing this upper sight shield and the clips are released by just pulling up on the cover. And next, there are four 10 millimeter bolts on top of the grill. Um, they're the ones that are holding the chrome tab down that are connected to the upper grill. Next, we need to remove this upper chrome strip that's in front of the headlight. And we just need to prod it with something that's not metal. Uh, I like to use these plastic pry rods that you can get off Amazon. Uh, I'll put a link in the description where you can get those. Basically, you just put it behind the chrome strip and pry out on it, and it pops out. And once you get that popped off, go ahead and do it the same on the other side. Underneath that chrome strip that we just took off is four plastic clips that need to come off. You can take them off by using a flathead or a clip tool. They are just the standard Honda clip. Uh, just pry up on the middle part, which releases it from the bottom part of the portion of the clip, and it just pulls right out. And next, there is two sets of clips that are behind the grill on the left side and also on the right side that hold the grill uh, to the headlight. And to get those off, we need to maintain constant pressure on the grill. Um, I like to use a piece of wood or a piece of cardboard just to jam it behind there in order to hold the grill, um, kind of hold it out and maintain pressure on it. And you can see the gray clip right there and that little tab in the middle is what we need to push down. Just take a, a long Phillips screwdriver or flathead and push down on it and just make sure there's maintaining pressure on the grill, pulling out. And the second clip is down below to the right. Just push in the very middle tab. And you can see I have it loose. You can see the grill moving away from the clips. So make sure you put your piece of wood in uh, even farther once you have those uh, unclipped and that will keep the grill from getting pushed back in and clipping back in. And also do the same on this side also and put a piece of uh, wood in there. And Next, come around to the side of the car and we need to remove the Phillips screws that are inside of the wheel well here. This first one down below can be kind of tricky to get to with a regular screwdriver because the tire is in the way. So I'm just using a Phillips bit on a ratchet and just get it loose. And then you can finish the rest by hand. And once all the screws are out, you're going to want to pull out on this molding on the portion that's by the fender. And sometimes the whole molding will pop out like this one did. Um, but sometimes the lower portion is still attached to the bumper. And if it is, you're going to want to reach your hand in behind the fender liner and push out on the clips while pulling out on the molding. And it'll pop it off. If you don't push on the clips, sometimes they will break. And if the bottom is still attached, there's a little tab that's attached to the molding that you can just push out. It's right there on the bottom. And that will release it from the lower portion of the bumper. And these are the yellow tabs right there that you need to push on from behind the bumper. And behind the molding is another Phillips screw we need to take off that holds the side of the bumper on.
and then use a skinny plastic pry tool to pry down on the slots that are grooved into the top of the bumper that hold it on to the spacer that is behind the bumper and you're just going to push it down in the slots on the bumper and pry out. And here's a better shot of the slots that you want to pry down on. Um, you're going to do this on the other side also. Next, climb underneath the bumper and there's a series of bolts and clips we're going to need to remove. Starting on the end is a 10 millimeter bolt. Next is a, another standard Honda clip, just like the ones that we removed on the top. And another 10 millimeter uh, bolt. And then another clip. And in the middle portion, we have four 10 millimeter bolts. Once you get those out, just continue down the left side, uh, just like we did the uh, right portion of the bumper. At this point, all the bolts, clips, and screws should be out of the bumper, and it's ready to come off. Just get in front of the bumper and place your hands on the back side of the bumper, and pull directly forward, popping it loose from the plastic bracket that's underneath the headlight and go around to the other side and do the same thing. And then just pick up on the bumper and gently lowering it to the ground, making sure not to rip the uh, fog light wires. And you're gonna unplug the, each fog light wire by just pushing on the tab and pulling out. And also unplug the harness that is underneath the lower core support same thing, push on the tab and pull out. And then lastly, go around and get the uh, right fall light. And that's it guys, the bumper's off. Thanks for watching my video.